Yo. So, are you gonna come out to lunch with us or what? Huh? Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Come on. Matsun's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. <sighs> we told you to get your ass up, you little slut. Ah, oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> Enough! Get your ass up! What's the fucking holdup, Coda? You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. So slow. I can't fucking stand you. Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. Hey, who the fuck said that? We're making you sick, huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. The fuck? Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do the job. Seriously, you guys? You're taking Koda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Koda-san? Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right? Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? Hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? What the fuck, man? If you want to talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this don't you understand? <sighs> y yeah. You know what, guys? It's true. You guys just need to leave her alone. He's right. He's totally right. What's your problem with her anyway? Yeah, Koda didn't do anything wrong, guys. Exactly! So back off Koda-san already! Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here! When you guys going to lunch, go choke on a chopstick! Oh, how does it feel now? Just get going, would you? Yeah! Toss them out! <sighs> what in the hell is going on here? Hey, Boxy. Fuck this. Yeah. Let's just go. Fuck it. Wow. I've never seen those kids band together like that. They all knew what was going on in there now. It can be hard to speak up even when you know something happening right in front of you is wrong. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just psychology. There's this concept called the bystander effect. According to the psychologists, when a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. One, if no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. The result, everybody stands there and nobody takes action. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. <laughs> Penguins are the same way. You ever seen a flock of them hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One takes the first plunge and the others all start following after him. The first penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. So for Yagamishi, that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. I can't say for certain this resolved your bullying problem. But here's hoping it's at least a good first step. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while.
What do you say we monitor the situation for now? Might not be wise for adults to intervene just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. But it should be teachers and administrators handling these matters, not detectives. You know what? I couldn't agree more. Then if you'll excuse me, 